Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought we were going to do part 3 of the things to do when you're bored videos. Um, I already did part 1 and part 2 and if you've seen those videos you know that I did the tutorials to each thing that I talked about. Today we're not gonna do that because I have a lot of ideas but those videos usually just take a lot of time to make and I want to post more um, videos. Oh happy new year by the way because one of my new year's goals is to post more content but I can't do that if each video takes so much time so I'm trying to um, post more often that's why i'm only gonna talk about the things today but i'm not gonna show you how to make them but they're pretty easy most of them um but if you want a tutorial to one of those things then i will make a part four yeah just comment the things you want a tutorial for and i'll put them in part four with the tutorial and we're gonna start with number one One thing you already seen in my last videos was how I put dried flowers on candles but there's so much more things you can do with them. I saw people like twisting them or just decorating them with different stuff or putting them in tea cups. I also saw someone make candles with um, seashells so that's pretty cool. I really want to try this. Write a letter to your future self. I did this before and it's like really great to see how you've grown and how you maybe achieved some of the goals you wrote down in this letter. Something I also really want to do is like paint my UNO cards, like the UNO reverse card. I saw a picture of that on Pinterest and I think it looks really cute, especially if you do it like in the colors you like or in the aesthetic you like and you can basically just design your own um, UNO cards. I'll probably put that in part four as well. Another thing that you can do, which I've already done in my past videos, is make your own jewelry. You can just order the stuff online and there are so many different things that you can do you can use crystals you can use beads you can use um wire there's so much cool stuff and there's so much inspiration on pinterest and tiktok make things out of clay i've done it before as well and it's really fun it's harder than i thought it would be but it's really fun and you um can start with something easy and then try harder things but yeah there are a lot of great easy things that you can do at the beginning and i think it lo always looks really pretty especially when you paint it and there's also a lot of inspiration on pinterest learn how to crochet you can crochet so many different things you can crochet hats you can crochet tops this this is a top i made there are a lot of great tutorials on youtube if you don't know how to crochet already definitely learn how to crochet there's so much stuff you can do and there are also a lot of great tutorials for easy stuff and um even for the more difficult stuff if you use a tutorial you'll be able to do it One thing I'll do in the future, and I'll post a video about it too, is decorating tote bags because I love tote bags. They're so useful and they always match my outfit, so it's just really great to always have one. And there are a lot of different ways you can decorate them. You can paint on them, print something on them, and I'll do a separate video about this. You can decorate your phone case. If you have a clear phone case, you can like put pictures inside of it or paint it or um, there's so many different things I'll use in the pictures, but that's also something I want to do um, because my phone case is really boring. So I definitely want to decorate it in some way. Learn how to make your own clothes. Maybe you have a sewing machine, but you can also do it with a needle it's like with the jewelry, if you're really good at it, you can sell it. Of 
course, if you're really bored and you need more inspiration, you can always watch my YouTube videos. This year, I'll definitely post more or my TikTok videos. You can make your own stickers. I did this in a video before, but I found a better way to do it. So I'll maybe do it in another video as well. But it's really cool to have your own stickers, especially if you like journaling or if you have a bullet journal or just in general, if you can put your own stickers on your belongings. You can watch my last video and make your own fairy wings. I think that was my last, yeah, that was my last video. You can paint on clothes. I've seen a lot of pictures of people painting on their jeans and you don't need to be really good at painting. You can do really simple things and it will already make your jeans look more interesting. You can paint a flower pot or a glass. You can make a friendship bracelet. I think we all used to do this in elementary school, but I feel like it would be fun to do it again. Make a photo shooting at home. There are so many different ways you can make photo shootings at home with just your phone. And that fits well with the next point because learn how to edit your Instagram pictures because editing is so important. And I don't mean like change your face or make your skin look smoother or something like that. I mean like change the background or change your clothes or change like color of your background. There's so many things you can edit. Another thing is you can paint on rocks. I like to collect rocks when I'm on holiday and you can also do this with seashells because I also like to collect them. Start your own bullet journal if you don't do this already, but making your own bullet journal can be really fun and you can be really creative with it. I also have a pin board on uh, Pinterest with ideas for my bullet journal. Start journaling. I have this new journal and it's so pretty and it really gives me a lot of motivation to write down things in this because it's so pretty so definitely buy a book that you like but journaling can help you in a lot of ways it can help you de-stress or just to relax or to figure out your emotions and i find it really helpful something i really want to learn this year is how to do makeup or how to do my own makeup because I know nothing about makeup and I'm not really good at it but I really want to because if I see people on Instagram and TikTok doing their makeup I'm really jealous because I want to learn how to do it because they look so pretty and every time I try to put on fake lashes they look so bad I want to learn how to put them on in a way that they look good make a cute Pinterest board. Start a TikTok channel, um, if you haven't already, but I feel like I was kind of scared to start a TikTok channel before I started. Same thing with YouTube channel. If you want to start a YouTube channel, then go for it. I know it can be scary at the beginning, but trust me, it's really fun. And at the end of the day, you're doing this for you. And even if people are talking bad about you, so what? It's, if someone is talking bad about you, then they probably are very insecure. Decorate your room. 
my first ever YouTube video was a room makeover and I don't know if you've noticed but I've changed a little bit in my room I'm not done yet but I'll post another room makeover and another room tour learn a new language I want to travel a lot this year I learned French in school and Spanish I'm not really that good at it but I want to improve my French and Spanish One thing I also did in my last video was make a vision board. I put it in one of my closet doors so not everyone can see it, but every time I open my closet I can see it. That's it for today's video. I hope you got some inspiration from it. And um, also, I want to do Q&A videos, so if you have some questions, just put them in the comments. And I hope to see you in my next video.